everybody! Welcome to the Jada in Stitches show. Happy Friday! Today I'm going to be getting into a brand new package of tulip crochet hooks. Oh, I've had these on my wish list for quite some time, and recently for my birthday, Mr. and Stitches bought the entire set for me. So I thought as I get into them today, I might talk a little bit about why I want them, especially if you've never heard of tulips before, and also why we waited so long to get them. Also, I thought I would compare them against the other ergonomic hooks that I've got in my collection, mainly my clovers. And you've seen me use these guys quite a lot here on the show. An ergonomic hook means that it's got a comfortable little handle or grip, and it's different from a regular crochet hook. And you can see them sort of like this. That's a regular crochet hook. No little handle, and that's an ergonomic hook with a handle. In the beginning, when we first started the show, I was using regular crochet hooks. There's nothing wrong with them. In fact, I still really like them from time to time. They're lightweight, they're thin, they're smooth, especially if they're aluminum, which means that um, they're comfortable and easy to, to get in and out of yarn. Uh, this set I have is Boy. They're pretty colors, which is another reason I like using them on the show. And um, they were just the hooks that I had the longest, and, you know, you start with what you've got. I had no problem using these until I started to have a lot more pain in my wrists and my fingers, and I thought it was just because I was crocheting too much, but it turned out I actually had rheumatoid arthritis. So once I got that diagnosis, Mr. and Stitches said, well, maybe we should get you a set of ergonomic hooks, because that might make it easier for you to grip the handle while you're crocheting. So an ergonomic hook, like we said, has this nice little handle, makes it easy to grip, and we did a little research on the internet, very short amount. We kind of jumped on Amazon and sort of saw what they had. I knew about clovers, and when we looked them up, we found that they were selling an entire set. Again, pretty hooks, all sorts of pretty little grips. Each size is a different color, so I really like that. And it was 10 hooks in a pack, um, and they were about 50 between $55 and $57 Canadian for all 10 hooks. Now that might seem like a lot if you're used to going to Walmart and grabbing a hook off the shelf and maybe they're like a couple bucks, maybe up to $4 Canadian. I imagine it's probably cheaper in the US, but an entire set of a really nice, comfortable grip um, group of hooks didn't seem like a bad investment considering how much I crochet. So we bought the hooks, they showed up in the mail, we actually did an unboxing video on those and uh, gave them a little whirl. We have a link to that video down below if you want to check them out too. And we started using these on the show ever since. So if you've been around here now for a little while, these are the hooks you typically see us using. Um, they're very comfortable. I still love them. They are my go-to hooks now. And because of that nice comfortable handle, I can crochet a lot longer because it doesn't sort of make me struggle to grip the hook quite as much as maybe one without a nice handle does. Now there's tons of different ergonomic hooks out there. There are some beautiful ones that are handmade by people on Etsy. So if you're looking for ergonomic hooks or you just love to collect these things, then I recommend you check out Etsy, Amazon, eBay, and of course your local independent crochet uh, shops, your yarn stores, and even like the bigger ones, like um, any of the big craft chains, because everybody handles and carries something a little bit different. No sooner had I started using clover hooks on the channel for our tutorials, than we started getting comments from people saying, oh, nice clovers, do you have any tulips? Have you tried tulips? Have you seen tulips before? And I thought, no, I don't think I have. <laughs> I may have sort of skirted over the tulips before when I was looking online, but because clover came in a whole bunch of different colors, that's what really caught my eye, and that's the one I ended up buying. So I went and I looked up tulips. We found this kit on Amazon, and we put it in the wish list because so many people said that they had clovers and they had tulips, and they really thought that the tulips felt better. So that's what I'm really eager to see today. So I'm going to start getting into these. Now, why did we wait so long to get them? Well, if you thought $55 to $57 Canadian was quite a lot for 10 hooks, then how does over $200 Canadian sound for an equally sized set of hooks? So this is also 10 hooks, and I believe they're the same sizes as these ones. That's the same size set that the clovers uh, came in. This one does come with a carrying case and also apparently a pair of scissors and a yarn, a couple of yarn needles. So you can sort of see that little picture there. So it comes with a pink case, comes with a pair of scissors, comes with a couple of yarn needles. They're little like metal darning needles, so I may or may not use them, but nevertheless, it does come with some extra stuff. And I'm probably gonna make a whole bunch of noise here.
but I still think $200 is quite a lot <laughs> for a set of hooks. There we go. So the box is a little bit mashed. That's probably more my fault than anything else because I think I had it sitting kind of just off to the side for a little bit. But it's a nice little box. It's got a lot of Japanese writing on the back because like the clovers, the tulips come from Japan as well. It's a nice feeling box. Let's just get right into it and pull out the whole thing. So let's see here. Okay. All right, that's it for the box. And what do we have? Oh, okay. Oh, all right. So here's the case that they already come preloaded in. And it looks like there's a little zipper um, pocket inside that has the needles and the scissors in it. So that's quite nice. This is definitely a faux leather fabric. It's got, oh, look at that. It's got sort of, a, I think it's supposed to look like crocodile skin or maybe snake skin or something. It's got, it's got a nice kind of feel to it. It does feel, it feels like real leather. I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> um, and it's a really pretty pink because it matches all of those really pretty pink crochet hooks. Nice. It also has a fancy little, um, oh, it's got a fancy little, almost like a disco ball thing hanging off the bottom. And this is a, ah, a really nice tassel. Ooh, look at that. That's pretty. It's like a really pretty tassel. So a little bit of extra sort of zazz, a little sparkly doodad. And it had a nice little cover keeping the tassel safe. So I like that. Um, I'm going to take out the scissors and the needles first and give them a whirl. Oh, okay, so the needles come in a really pretty little package. It's got a little sort of slip up uh, lip that you can like undo and then your two little needles come out and it looks like, it looks like they're brass. They've got a bit of a brass hue to them and they're two very different sizes. So that's nice. I will probably keep those with this kit. Um, depending on how much I like these hooks, this might become my travel kit. I'm not sure. And by traveling, sometimes I mean just around the house. <laughs> and the scissors also come in their own little sheath. That's really cute. It matches the outside of the, um, the little kit. And they also have sort of a brass feel. Well, yeah, that feels okay. Nice and very sharp. Can you guys see that? That is a sharp pair of needles. Very, very sharp. Um, I think that's actually sharper than the little... Yep, I think it is. It's sharper than the little fairy scissors I have here. So that's probably a good thing that they come with a little sheath. I'm going to put that back in here. All right, let's try those hooks out. What does a hook from a $200 set feel like? Let's try the first one. So this is the six millimeter hook. And that's not what I was expecting at all. It is thinner than the ergonomic hook of the clover. So I'm going to hold it right here. I might even put a little bit of b-roll in here so you guys can see it a bit better. I think I will do that. It is thinner, so more slender than the clover hook. It still has the thumb depression so you can grab it with your thumb. But unlike the clover hook, which almost has a bit of a like a soft, rubberized feel to it. This feels more like smooth, hard plastic. And the clover hook, again, I will give you some B-roll, has the size engraved into the handle so it would never rub off. And the tulip has like a little sticker on it. So I don't know if that's been printed on with a laser. No, it looks like it's a bit of a sticker. I think it's a sticker. So that might come off in time, in which case I won't know what the size of this hook is. So right away, I'm surprised. I would have considered, I think having engraved or embossed sizing on a hook makes it a better hook because it can't rub off. And that way you always know what hook size you're dealing with. This being a little kind of sticker or a print, it's going to come off with time, so that's a little disappointing. Um, it's got about the same, it looks like it's a little bit taller, so the working part, the shaft of the actual hook, and again, I'll give you a little bit of proper B-roll here. The shaft of the hook, or the working part of the hook, 
after it leaves the ergonomic grip is a little taller in the tulip, so I like that because sometimes when I'm working larger or more complicated stitches that require a lot of loops on the hook at the same time, you run out of real estate really quickly on the clovers. Um, it looks like I might be able to fit one more working loop onto the neck of that tulip, so that's a plus. Um, it looks like they're they're not, neither of these are inline hooks, so inline means like the back is kind of straight. Um, these ones, they're a little bit more pointed, so they kind of all taper, these are tapered hooks, they taper to a point. A little bit of a taper on both of them, I'd say it's about the same. I guess I can compare these, they are both sort of the same size. Yeah, the tulip, the working part of the tulip hook is taller, so that's cool. And, unlike the clover, which has kind of a burnished steel look, or a burnished chrome, the tulip is shiny. It's a shiny looking metal. It's definitely aluminum. It just looks like shiny aluminum as opposed to burnished aluminum. And again, I'll show you that close up. So I don't feel disappointed with the look aesthetically. I like the shiny, a shiny aluminum and I love the color pink. But I am a little disappointed that the actual sizing is just kind of printed on there or on with a sticker, possibly even worse because that's just going to come off with time, especially considering how much I crochet. So that's a little disappointing and a little surprising. The rest of them are all really pretty colors. Um, I've been sort of pulling them out of this little elastic. They've got a little bit of elastic here in the kit that you can slip the hook into. Uh, it might actually help to go the other way. So if you're putting them away, go hook first because that way you can hook it underneath the elastic and then slide it through. That's a lot easier. Um, and they're really pretty. They have, they aren't all the same shade of pink. There's a darker one that's a size four millimeter. Again, with the, the little sort of printed or lasered on sizing. I think it might be a sticker. I'm not sure. I can see like a little shiny kind of thing underneath it, which makes me think it might be a sticker. And that looks like there's a discoloration in the pink or like it got rubbed or scraped or something. Oddly, the name Tulip and Japan is embossed on the back, so it sits up a little higher. Uh, I just don't know why they didn't do that with the numbers or the sizing. I'm a little disappointed with that. The kit, however, is cute, so I can close it up. It looks kind of like a make makeup bag, so or like a like a wallet or a purse or even like your phone case or something. So I really like the, the little case it came with. So extra points to that. And the zipper feels really sturdy. It's got a little toggle on the zipper so you can grab it. That's a real, that's a good zipper. Oh yeah, that's a really good zipper. And then it lays flat when you open it. And of course this little thing kind of flaps out. So the kit, I like the kit a lot. It's a really well constructed kit. I like the little pretty dangle on it, and I love the built-in little um, tool uh, pocket with a zipper, which is also quite good. <laughs> and of course, all of those hooks look shiny and new. Um, so yeah, that's my first impression. I'm going to grab some yarn, and I'm going to try a little crochet, first with one of the new tulips, and then with an equal-sized clover hook, and I'll see what I think. All right. For comparison's sake, I'm going to compare the 5.5mm, also known as the I or the 9, to the 5.5mm. So these are the same size hooks. This is an average middle sized hook. I use this one quite a bit. In fact, I think I've used it for all of our blanket, uh, calendar blanket series. And I'm going to compare it against the same sized hook from the tulip. I think that's fair. So that's the size that I'm going to try. And because I know not all yarn is the same, I'm going to try a variety of fibers. So I've got the quintessential Acrylic, I use this a lot. I've got some 100% wool, which is kind of scratchy and itchy, has a much different, almost like an oily kind of texture to it. I've got some cotton, that's 100% cotton. I use that a lot too. Also has sort of more grab. It almost makes the hook squeak sometimes when you're using it. And speaking of squeak, <laughs> I've got some of that Burnett blanket yarn. This is 100% polyester, and this really squeaks. <laughs> when you're crocheting with it. So I'm going to try just a handful of stitches with both hooks and all of the yarns and see what I think. First, because this is right in front of me, I'm going to try the cotton. So I'm really comfortable with my, my cotton, I should say with my clover hook. Um, so I'm just going to chain a handful of things. It's not really important what I'm doing, but if you do like to try out hooks or you're sort of working on 
um, loosening up your tension before you get into a bigger project, this might be something you want to do. It doesn't mean you have to like keep it, you can just sort of crochet a handful of stitches, see how fast and how comfortable it feels, and that kind of warms up your hands. So I just worked a handful of double crochets just like that. I know the feel of my clover, it's really comfortable, I can move fairly quickly with cotton. Um, I love my clovers, what can I say? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so now let me compare it against the tulips. So this is a hard ergonomic handle. It doesn't have, not that the clover is squishy or, or spongy or anything, but it just feels like there might be a little more give there. This is this feels more like hard plastic as opposed to this feeling more like a soft kind of rubbery feeling. Um, it's, oh, takes a little bit of getting used to. The thumb deck is not as wide, so the thumb deck is wider on the clovers. So if you're a knife grip like I am, that might be something to consider. If you're a pencil grip like Mama and Stitches and you hold it more like you're holding a pencil, then the wide thumb deck might actually be better for you. Um, but because I use my thumb so much in the knife grip, I like that wide thumb deck on the clover. So the thumb deck isn't as wide on the tulip. Not that it makes it unusable, but it definitely requires a little bit of getting used to. And you know what? I almost feel like I want to slip off of it a little bit. The, the clover grips are not sticky, but they're not slippery. So you kind of like, it's sort of like you stick your thumb in position and it stays there. It doesn't move around. This is a really smooth, very nice feeling plastic. Don't get me wrong. It feels very smooth, but I'm not used to that. So my thumb wants to sort of slip around on it a little bit, which might just me, I might just have to re-address how I grip it, but it's not an easy side to side, like I, I'm not moving comfortably from this one to this one. This really feels different. This feels much more substantial in my hand than this one does. Although this one, I do like that smooth, I do like the feeling of the smooth plastic, possibly a little bit more than the, the grip feeling of the clover, but I like that the clover doesn't slip around in my hand like this one does. This one slips a little bit. Um, but I feel like I crocheted with the cotton just as quickly as I did with the uh, with both hooks. So it's nice on cotton. Now both of these, like I said, are a, an, a, an aluminum shaft, um, and they're both. Now again, I've used my clovers a lot, so maybe that might account for why this feels a little smoother. But <laughs> yeah. No, they both feel smooth. They both feel equally smooth. Um, there's no burrs or anything. You can't even see a, a seam on the tulip. Um, there's no t there's no seam to be seen. <laughs> there's no seam to be seen on the acryl on the on the aluminum shaft of either of these. Um, so yeah, they feel the same. So nice and smooth. So it's a really smooth shaft. It's not going to grab on anything. Okay, I'm going to try the polyester now. Now this is a size 6 yarn, so it's really not fair um, if I can't crochet super quick with the hooks. That might be just because it's a smaller hook and I'm using a much thicker yarn. But I'm just going to just work a handful of, of sort of clumsy stitches here. I'm just feeling how easy it runs through the yarn itself. And yeah, this is I mean, I can go pretty quickly, but it makes for a, makes for a pretty tight bit of fabric. So let me try that with my tulip instead. <clears throat> I just kind of want to see how the shaft moves through the the yarn itself. Um, actually, that that tulip feels like it's moving through the polyester just a little faster, a little more smoothly than the clover. Yeah. That's, so that's the tulip. Hmm. No, maybe, maybe it's the same. Yeah, it's about the same. So both of them feel fairly nice, rather quick actually, moving through the polyester. And um, I didn't hear any squeaking. <laughs> 
So it might just be when I'm using my plastic hooks with that that it makes a big squeak noise. So that's a good thing to know. Uh, let's try the wool. So wool has a little bit of a, almost like an oily texture to it. I'm just going to, again, crochet a handful of, of stitches with my clover. Now this is a size 4, so this is a little bit better suited to the size hook I'm using. And I'm just whipping through a handful of double crochet stitches. Come back here, you. And that, again, I have a nice light grip with my clover. It's not going to slide around in my hands, so I can hold it lightly. And I think if you have grip issues, like if you have arthritis or you have any other reason um, that your, your grip just isn't as strong or as powerful as it used to be, then that's why I like the clovers. Not only are they easy to grip, but it has sort of a non-slip surface. It really does make a difference when you can't, you know, get a nice firm grip on your hook. There, I just went to pick this up and it slipped out of my hands. The tulip has a slippery grasp. <laughs> it's because it's really, really smooth. I like how it feels cool and smooth on my fingertips, so I like the feel of it, but I'm just not sure for practical purposes if it's going to be that comfortable to use given my grip situation over and over again. Uh, now just like the clover, it moves really nicely in and out of that wool yarn. There's absolutely zero grip or or no sludgy feel, it doesn't feel sluggish or tired. Um, it, it's, it's so funny, it's that thumb deck that keeps throwing me off. Like I said, if you're a pencil grip, then the narrow thumb deck might be better for you. Um, but if you're a knife grip, then that might really throw you off. I find as, an, as, a, as a knife grip that I rock my thumb back and forth a lot while I'm crocheting. I do a lot of the work with my fingers as opposed to like really getting my, my wrist rotation going there. So it is throwing me off a little bit. I can see why there, there, so there really is a difference in the grip between these two hooks. Um, so that's the wool. That feels good with both. Um, and now I'm going to try my standard. I use acrylic an awful lot. Um, it's, it's cheap. It's available. <laughs> and because I've been crocheting for so long, it's most of the kind of yarn that I've gathered for a long time. Um, so I have a lot of it on hand. And there we go. It is so easy to crochet with acrylic. Acrylic is a really smooth <clears throat> fiber, and um, I'm using my, my clover hook here, and I'm just, I mean, I can just zip through it so quickly. I think the biggest difference between these two hooks is not so much the aluminum shaft, because it is just as smooth on the tulip. Yeah, I can really motor through the acrylic with the tulip. That is a really smooth shaft. So the shafts, other than the tulips being a little longer, which I like, that's a plus, um, they both have the same feel. Neither of them have burrs, neither of them have seams, so it's just a really smooth crocheting experience with that aluminum all together for both of them. So yeah, nice and smooth. It is just the grip. So that's what it comes down to. The tulips have a different grip than the clovers. If you need more of a thumb deck, if you have trouble gripping your, yard, your hooks, then the slightly more grabby just sort of slightly, I don't even have the right word for it, but the clover might be a better buy for you just because I feel it stays in your hand a little easier. And if you're a knife grip, that thumb, wide thumb deck is better. This tulip feels smooth. I love the feeling of the plastic. Again, there's no, there's a little tiny seam. You can sort of see where it was seamed together, but it's so smoothly um, it's been so smoothly sanded down that you don't feel it. There is no seam to feel. I do like the feel of the smooth plastic. So from a pure, purely like um, tactile point of view, this feels nicer than this one, but this one stays in my hand better than this one does. So I would probably reach for my clover at this point if I was going to be doing a lot of crochet. Having said that, Getting used to a thinner thumb deck isn't too big a deal, but it does take me slightly out of my comfort zone um, because I am used to having more space to press my thumb against this. And it's slippery, so my grip isn't what it used to be, and when I went to pick it up a moment ago, it slipped right out of my hands. Um, and then, just from a purely aesthetic point of view, I'm really kind of disappointed that, not kind of, I am, I am disappointed. <laughs> 
that clover uh, that clover tulip I should say doesn't have embossed or or engraved sizing on their hook shaft whereas clover the cheaper hook does and I think that um, when your hook size is embossed or engraved into the actual hook itself that's just a better mark of quality overall because it's not going to rub away whereas over time this one probably will um, yeah so my basic thoughts I am very happy to have a new set of hooks you have to work pretty hard to give me hooks that I won't like <laughs> So I'm definitely going to do some more crochet with them. I'm going to see how crocheting over a long period of time feels compared to that of a clover. Like I said, I opened these for the first time today, so these are my absolute, you know, first off impressions. Um, I always like to look at the aesthetics of a hook. I really love the pink that they use, and I love pink, so that was one of the reasons that I was attracted to the tulips. And I like the shiny aluminum shaft, so that aesthetically I like. Not pleased with the way they have the sizing printed on it, um, especially when they went with the fancy embossing on the back for the name. I think that's kind of a kind of cheap, so that bothers me. The thumb deck being thinner, um, like being more narrow than the clover, I'm going to have to get used to that because I really like the nice, wide, comfortable thumb deck on the clover hook. But I do like the smoothness of the plastic on this one, but it does make it a little more difficult for me to just pick up, grab, and, and keep from slipping out of my hands. So. I'm going to do some crocheting for a little while and maybe in a little, um, maybe a few weeks time I'll be able to say what I think about the hooks once I've been crocheting with them for a long time. But as it stands, right now, if I was to give you my honest impression, we bought the clovers with our own money, we bought the tulips with our own money. The tulips did come with a really pretty kit. This is a really pretty kit. It comes with um, scissors and a couple of yarn needles, so if you have just gotten into crocheting and you've got some money to throw around, then this entire kit, um, it's everything from a size two millimeter all the way up to a six millimeter, and there are eight sizes in between those two. So that's a lot of hooks <clears throat> to get. And those are really all the hook sizes you need to kind of do most of the crocheting we do, unless you want to start getting into the super fine stuff. Um, so that's all the hooks you really need for like, you know, clothing, hats, granny squares, blankets, stuff like that. Um, of course it comes with the scissors and the yarn needles, so it's everything you would need to travel, everything you would need to just sort of jump right into crochet right off the bat. Um, for that price, I think they could have tucked in a measuring tape too, because a measuring tape is always something I have in my kit, but um, I do like the way it looks. It's, it's nice, it's a pretty pink, and um, I definitely will not mind taking this around with me. But if you can get them on sale, get them on sale. Once again, 10 clover hooks was about $55 Canadian. This, the kit and everything included in it, was over $200. So I don't feel like it is worth over $200. I would be delighted if I could get it for $100. <laughs> so maybe $100. Um, again, both of these are made in in uh, Japan. These are both Japanese brands, so uh, they're competing brands from the same place. So I'm going to say that the actual quality of the build is pretty much the same for both, but the clovers come out on top with that nice um, engraved sizing on the hook. That way it'll never rub off, and if you've had your hooks a long time and you really love your hooks and take care of them, that's something you might notice on the older hooks, is that the numbers, the sizing kind of wears off, and uh, that can be annoying when you're reaching for a hook and you don't know what size it is. But um, those are my first impressions. Anyway, I am very happy to have a set of, of, of tulips now in my life. <laughs> I might interchange them with my, my um, clovers from now on. It will depend on the project I'm doing. But uh, you might see these popping up in some tutorials down the road. We shall see. I hope you enjoyed that little unboxing and a little crochet hook comparative uh, journey uh, that we sort of put together here for you today. And um, let me know in the comments down below what hooks you have? Do you have clovers? Do you have tulips? Do you have knit picks? Uh, that's one I didn't mention today, but knit, knit picks also makes a very simple ergonomic hook. Um, I have one large ergonomic hook from knit picks that I've used on occasion. It's nice, but again, I don't like it. It doesn't have any thumb deck really. It's just kind of flat in the middle, so I still prefer the thumb deck on my clover for that. Um, but what are your favorite hooks? I would love to know. Do you like bamboo? Do you prefer aluminum? Do you like inline? Do you like tapered? Have you got special ones that you made or that you bought from Etsy? Let us know down below. We would love to hear what you've got. And uh, also, if you have any recommendations, we can check them out too. 
Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you soon here on the Jaded Stitches Show. Until then, stay safe, stay crafty, and um, have fun with your crochet hooks. <laughs> I know I will be. Bye, everybody. Hi, everybody. Mr. and Stitches here. Thank you for watching today. Here are some of our other videos you might be interested in. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe.